Hello everybody and welcome to this video. So you want to make this, this or maybe this type of Roblox Studio builds. Well, if you do, then you found the right place and uh, today I will show you how to exactly make those based on a real commission. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so our first thing that I will uh, show uh, doing is basically a shotgun. It's kind of an old style uh, shotgun, let's say. And yes, yeah, you can see I'm using a lot of extrude and simple shapes. And after making those simple shapes, I adjust them. And that's a very important thing. You always need to start with something simple to then make it look good and maybe more complex right so um like as i said uh, basically try to follow uh, your um, reference most of the times you get one if you don't then uh, just use what you have and uh, yeah now that uh, we have it almost done we'll get right into the next item on our list now, remember how I told you about the uh, add-on that I use for making uh, those uh, shapes on a grid? Well, that's uh, very important actually when it comes to modeling guns, because with this gun you see that most of it is actually made using this add-on. Um, so, uh, basically for this one, as I said, I uh, do very, very simple shapes and I build the entire shape of the gun with them. And I really take my time trying uh, to make sure it looks okay. Same with the last gun, uh, I don't really need to make it look too, too, too complex, but I just add all the necessary details. As you can see the handle, there is uh, the only thing that is smooth shaded and yeah, now that this is done, I will get right into the next one. So the two remaining guns are basically the same principle, so I don't really have anything planned for that. So yeah, just enjoy the music and uh, you can see how I make those. And I will see you once we switch to Substance Painter, bye bye! So now let's get right into uh, Substance Painter. So first of all, what I do is I uh, bake all the textures. This is a very important step. Don't forget to do it. Uh, also, now uh, I make sure everything looks good because it needs to look good for 
it to work right and once i make sure that the model looks good then i add the texture now with this style what you need to remember is you only need to work on the color there will be no roughness and no metallic but uh, the major point of this style is to add the ambient occlusion filter so you can see me adding it right now and basically it uh, adds quite like a nice outline makes it look uh, pretty good and uh, many games on Roblox have it so it is uh, well tested let's say uh, so I already made the first gun and uh, this clip actually was slowed down just a little uh, but it was really to show you how it all works and then I just apply the same process to every other gun right so uh, this one i make it a bit lighter and have it more contrasted uh, with uh, you know the lighter and the darker side then i add the shotgun so uh, you know uh, there you can see that it is just simple color so for example the leather it isn't really looking like leather it is just uh, brown so you really need to focus on a uh, very simple like key uh, color so that it, everything uh, will work out. And here I also add some small decals, but mm, they aren't really important and uh, they are like very very small so most of the people won't even see them. And yeah, now that I uh, add the last uh, decals, uh, now everything is uh, done and uh, then we can go over to Roblox Studio. So what I do is I import first the FBX, I uh, scale them down, I uh, degroup them and I add a surface appearance with only the color texture. Now on screen you can see me do it a different way but I had to change it either, either way so I recommend you switching to surface appearance and only uh, adding the color factor. So thank you all for watching that would appear to be it and yeah uh, in the comments uh, say if you survived that long uh, throughout the entire video and uh, yeah see you in the next one bye, -bye.